the new Nintendo 3DS, the new Nintendo 3DS XL, the new Nintendo 2DS XL. All of these are capable of playing new 3DS games, which are titles that only work on these specific variants. Most of you are probably aware of the four physical releases. We've got Minecraft, Xenoblade Chronicles, Fire Emblem Warriors, and Runbo Pocket. All of these games are ports. That is literally the entire physical library. And yes, there's also 30 SNES games that only work on the new Nintendo 3DS for uh, some reason. But oh boy, the rabbit hole goes so much deeper than you could possibly imagine. But let's start with the physical titles since we're all familiar with these. Good old Minecraft. I don't know why this cartridge cracks me up so much. It looks like one of those fake photoshops you'd find on Twitter or Reddit, but it's actually real. Now, I don't think I've ever talked about Minecraft on this channel outside of a couple of streams, but I've actually played a good amount of it over the past few years. I've never beat the game or anything, but I am in a realm with a few friends and I like making these stupid labyrinths that require trial and error because I'm a dumbass. But how does Minecraft hold up on the 3DS? Well, it holds. With Elmer's glue and tape, I mean it barely, barely holds up. It's a miracle the game runs at all. For what it's worth, this version does look pretty spot on, and it all sounds the same as you'd expect. I also really like having the map screen at the bottom at all times. That's pretty darn handy compared to having to hold up the map with your hand. And having a touch screen to move your items around is really convenient too. There's also some skins and texture packs you can buy if you want, but the game comes with a Mario texture pack, so I messed with that for a little bit. But there are two major flaws that make this the worst version of Minecraft. One, as I'm sure you've noticed, the frame rate chugs, especially when you're mining. The game chugs so badly and can barely keep up with the actions on screen. But the second and biggest problem is the controls. In order to turn your character, you have to use this little nub. This feels horrible. Moving around is way too sensitive, and while you can tweak the sensitivity, that's really not the issue. I mean, look at this f***ing nub! How am I supposed to play a 3D game with a joystick that barely moves? I think it's incredibly cool that you can play Minecraft on a 3DS, but there is no reason to when you'd legitimately have a better time using your phone. Well, that was a dud, but maybe Runbo Pocket Deluxe fares better. I never actually played the original game. This one came out several years ago on all 8th gen consoles, and the deluxe version includes all the DLC. As for Runbo on the 3DS, we have the option of buying the DLC instead of it being included. Yippee. But man, I cannot believe I have never played Runbo until now. This is a platformer where you have to reach the trophy at the end of the levels. The main gimmick is the color of the background itself. The color changes every second or so, and they'll either reveal platforms or take some away. It sounds simple, but the way the levels are constructed are compact and really well crafted. You have to focus on which platforms disappear and attempt to remember where the missing ones are. This creates not only an engaging gameplay loop, but its simplistic art style is really striking and pops out. The levels feel very distinct amongst each other, and the controls are really fluid too. I'm almost mad at myself for waiting several years to try this. This is absolutely my kind of game, and you want to know what I did after playing it? Yeah, I'm playing the hell out of this with a normal controller, like... <laughs> Look, the 3DS's joystick is fine, but definitely not as precise as I'd want it to be for a tight platformer like this. And there you have it, a really fun game on the new 3DS. But it's the worst version considering its multiplayer only goes up to 4 people instead of 9, and it's on the 3DS, and it doesn't look as good. Why? Nintendo, why did you do this? I played the Wii version of Xenoblade Chronicles several years ago, and after a few hours, I realized it wasn't my thing. And this game is massive. So how the hell did they cram this into a 3DS? I don't know, but what I do know is that it actually runs really well. Yep, the frame rate is extremely solid and feels pretty good to play. As for the graphics, well, it looks like a really good game on the PS1. I mean, just look at it. It's a blurry asswipe of pixels, but still, the whole whole game's on here. How'd they do that? But now to try out Fire Emblem Warriors. I played a tiny bit of Hyrule Warriors way back in the day, but I don't remember at all what it was like. If you've played a Warriors game, this is the same thing, but with Fire Emblem characters. And it runs surprisingly well on the 3DS. I was actually having a lot of fun with it. It comes with a bunch of DLC, which is cool, but again, you could play this on the Switch with better graphics. And that's it for physical releases on new Nintendo 3DS. This just might be the easiest collection to complete for gaming ever. That is, until you go to the 3DS eShop. Because unknown to most of us are dozens upon dozens of shovelware titles that only work on the new 3DS. And some of these games came out this year. Like, what? 
why? The idea of playing shovelware that only works digitally on a new 3DS is like playing a Sega 32X CD exclusive game. But I decided to actually buy all these games because why the hell not, right? Since the eShop is about to close, I can no longer use my card or even eShop cards, so adding money directly to the 3DS isn't an option. But there is one workaround, merging my 3DS wallet with the Switch one. And guess what? Apparently I did this years ago with another 3DS, and you cannot unlink this merge. And I can't use my Australian account because I would need to get Australian eShop cards. So you know what I had to do? Use Bethaniel Switch Lite, log into the Nintendo Network ID that was on my 3DS, and then merge the funds through the browser. From there, I can use eShop cards or whatever to add funds that will also work on the 3DS. And this is why I'm a Nintendo fan. I get a kick out of jumping through hoops just to give them money. But does anyone even remember what SNES games were available on here? And were they even worth purchasing at all? Well, as you'd expect, you can play Super Mario World and Super Mario Kart, the most standard Mario SNES games out there. There's also A Link to the Past, which isn't a surprise, and same with Earthbound, the Donkey Kong Country Trilogy, Super Metroid, and F-Zero. Surprisingly, the only Kirby game available is Dream Course. I guess they forgot Dreamland 3 and Superstar exist or something. Super Punch-Out and Pilot Wings are also here, which are nice inclusions, as well as Mega Man Man 7 and the three Mega Man X titles. The Castlevania series got Super Castlevania 4, which is one of the best, and even Castlevania Dracula X. We also got Contra 3 and Super Ghouls and Ghosts, which aren't surprising, but the Street Fighter 2 picks are really weird. Okay, so there's Street Fighter Alpha 2, Super Street Fighter 2 The New Challengers, and Street Fighter 2 Turbo Hyper Fighting. Where the heck is the original version? I don't know, it's just kind of odd to me. But anyway, there's also some lesser known games like Breath of Fire 1 and 2, Final Fight 1 one through three, Demon's Crest, and The Legend of the Mystical Ninja. So overall, a decent selection of SNES games, and you can use save states just like on the Wii U, but what's the point? There's like a million other ways to play these games. Most of them are on the Switch, and even at the time, could be bought on the Wii and Wii U. Nintendo did state that these versions were pixel perfect. <laughs> yeah, sure. Throw your marketing sling at me all you want. I should have been able to download this game on the Wii U, and then use that version on the 3DS. But now it's time for what we're all interested in, the digital-only games. Are any of these worth picking up before the eShop goes down? Let's find out, because I'm going to try every single Shovelware new Nintendo 3DS game. Got them all in these two folders, and we're going to start off with uh, Soccer Shootout. Now, I've already played a few of these games. I forgot to hit the record button, so uh, unfortunately not going to have any authentic reactions. But these first four, oh my god, they are a treat. This one in particular, I mean, just look at it. Soccer Shootout, clearly it needs the power of the new Nintendo 3DS, that little extra processing. And uh, yeah, all we do is uh, we just kick the soccer ball and we got to make the goal. That's basically the game. And he's, oh, he saved it. That's too bad. All right, we got to score at least one goal. Here we go. Get in. Goal. Gal Galaxy Pain. Ha 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 ha. Let's see how this one is. I actually already know how this one is. This one's actually pretty hilarious. So for a better experience, we got to use the stylus. I get this little teeny tiny one the new Nintendo TS. New Nintendo 2DS comes with. The game says help them. I don't know what we're helping. Okay, this is genuinely the weirdest game I've ever played. All right, are you ready for what's going to happen? Butterfly Presents. Here we go. It's butterfly time. We First off, we get a Lepsy warning. Let's get out of this. So you tap the screen and there's user login, profile credits, help and support. Okay, let's log in. Um, we got all this text. You really, you don't need to read it. There's seven levels in this game. And yeah, we've confirmed the game's loading, I guess. And here's level one. I don't know who this person is on the bottom screen. No idea. But basically you tap the number and then you hit E to confirm your shot. These numbers are supposed to be meteors. Yes. I'm not joking, they are meteors, and that's the game. That is basically the whole game. And yeah, I mean, it, it sounds sounds lovely. I mean, clearly something like this needed to be on new Nintendo 3DS hardware. Take advantage of that extra CPU power, so, you know. Now, if you thought that game was weird, wait till you check out this one. I'm not dead. Apparently she's not dead, that's great. And this is made by the same company, Butterfly, or I don't even know if it's a company or just one person, who knows? Salts, sweets, we're going salts, baby. Now, so this game is hilarious, okay? So the game's loading right now. We're gonna have to basically activate a, a thing on the top. So yeah, now we activate, 
Okay, I don't care. I activate like a square. And if I die, <laughs> this is the message that comes up. <laughs> the game just says, it, I don't, just something about, just the fact that I'm doing this on a 3DS is what cracks me up. It's just so goofy. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I think you get it. You just avoid the squares. That's the game. I just like that the game just says when you lose. Now we've got a game that's actually pretty darn good. I think it's also on the Switch and I'm pretty sure it's on the Wii U. It's called Mom Hid My Game and it is a point and click adventure. I already played some of these levels. So let's just, we'll start at level one again. That's fine. Um, basically, we're, we're a kid and we got a mom and uh, we need to find our, our video game. We gotta find our Game Boy. So we're gonna dump all of our mom's books on the floor. Hey, look at that. There's the Game Boy. We cleared the level. And some of this stuff is just hilarious. Mom is hiding behind the curtain. <laughs> game over. So that Game Boy can't get that under the couch. The only way to get that is to grab the broom. Then we're gonna go back here, go to our items, and smack it out. Now we got our Game Boy. Now, you might be thinking, what am I supposed to do here? Well. You don't want to talk to Mama. Mama's hanging out in the closet. She's scared of the alligator. But we're going to save the day and even get our Game Boy. Because we're going to grab this stick. And you might think, oh, we're just going to, what, beat up the alligator? No. We're going to take the stick and force his mouth open and then grab the Game Boy. This guy's got some balls of steel. That's all I got to say. So now at this point, I have no idea what the games are going to be like. I've, I've tried none of them. Here we go. This one is Nekobop. I know this one is coming up, and it came out this year. I think it was this April. All right. Level one. Yes. Oh! We're literally just bopping cat girls. And the, why? What? There's not even, like, a sound effect. It's just one picture that moves over and over again. And why is the background pixelated? How long do I do this? What? What's the point? Oh, I'm supposed to bop 30 times. Okay, well, I've done, like... A bunch. I've done over 60. Can I just, like, drag? I don't know. You won. All the Nekos have been defeated. Final score, 69. Nice. So now we have Harold's Walk. Whoa. Okay. Oh, my goodness gracious. Damn, he's he is cheeked up. Oh, my God. Okay, hold on. Running leg virus removal software to solve corrupt files? What is happening? Let's just continue slash start. What is this? What the hell is the bottom screen? Is that supposed to be a map? I guess so. Oh, yo, check out that roll. Oh, no, not the legs with the eyeball. Nope. Oh. Oh, it's chasing me. Can I beat it? I just killed. The, I just killed it. So what am I? What's the gold? Do I have to collect stuff? I'm collecting Cheerios. Berry Cheerios. Oh, and it has health. I can use the nub for camera. It's so interesting how... These new Nintendo 3DS games all seem to have features to move the camera. You know what this guy kind of looks like? He looks like the freaking thumb guy from Spy Kids. It's very, very similar to that. Horseshoe Crab Rescue. You know what? This one could be good. This is a horseshoe crab. Much cuter from the top. Actually more closely related to spiders. Okay, they've been around for millions of years. Seriously, eyes every... Okay, you know what? I didn't know any of that. That's, that's good to know. Walk up the horseshoe crab and tap it on the touch... Oh, I saved it. Okay, so we just saved horseshoe crabs. I guess that's the game. Oh, that's a lot of crabs. So I'm, I'm tapping all of these? Or just like... Okay, the ones that need tapping. Okay. Why does this look like a VR game? Like the way that the, the camera looks on the top, it's got like this weird warp to it. Oh my god, this is so weird. Honestly, it's kind of like a, a really peaceful game. You just kind of go around saving the horseshoe crabs. All right, classic Bull Master Labyrinth Puzzles. I'm down for a good old puzzle. Let's do it. Okay, this game has auto-saving. I can edit levels. That's cool. Package one. All right. Basic movement, basic UI. Sure. Okay, this is interesting. You know what? This, this kind of reminds me of those ice puzzles from, like, Pokemon, uh... I think Pokemon Gold and Silver. Or I even, like, uh, Pokemon Diamond and... You know, I guess any Pokemon game with, like, a basic ice puzzle where you slide around. It's actually very similar to that. That's basically the game. You just It's just Labyrinths. Herald Reborn. We played Herald's Walk. Is this the sequel? Is it a prequel? I have no idea. Oh my god. This is going to be f***ing awesome. I I'm ready. Ale 1. I don't know what that means. Okay, let's do it. Oh, it's Herald time. Oh my god, the roll is so much better now. Holy crap, I go so fast. 
Look at me go! No! I almost clipped through. Oh, what the heck? Oh, okay. I thought I was stuck on, like, an invisible wall. Woohoo! I am dead. Alright, so next we have... Small World Z. Looks like to be some sort of pixel shooter thing. I guess we'll find out. Small World Z. This looks like a phone game. Just by, like, the perspective. Okay, the game is... I have hit start game. Okay, here we go. Customize... Oh, I can customize a character. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Yo, I'm shooting candy corn. Glad to see you can handle a weapon. If you have any other abilities... Okay, cool. This is a desolate area. I don't like that there is a stamina meteor on the roll. I'd, ra I'd wish I could just kind of spam it. Okay, we are we are friends now. I, I, wait, did I just give you something? I don't even know. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh, I'm killing someone by accident. I died. Try again? Nah, that's okay. Slime Slayer. Okay. So we have a, a Monster Hunter Slime. Interesting. Wonder how this will be used. Alright. Got an NES game here. Literally an NES game. Oh, what the? Wh whoa. Wait. Oh my god. This is... This is all NES Zelda textures. It's like, what the hell? It's like Minecraft? This is quite literally pulling textures from the NES game. It's not even an attempt to make them different. There's only like one slime per level. This is way too easy. And he's dead. This is the world's e easiest video game. Zara! She got some Tig Biddies. God damn, dude. They went really hard on those. Zara! We're jumping right in. I don't know what we're doing, but we're going. Is this a racing game? <laughs> well, oh, wait, wait. Hold on. I'm the fairy. Okay, this is literally like a mobile game. Okay. Moving around, getting gems, I guess. I mean, the controls are are okay. A little on the sensitive side, but they, they work. Oh, boy. Here we go. Red. Going really fast now. Ooh, and there's... Oh, crap. There's spikes now, too. Aw, oh, damn. Well, that's actually pretty fun. I think I had to, I think I spent like five bucks on it. Maybe it's worth getting, I don't know. Without escape. This game contains disturbing scenes and gore. Oh boy. Here we go. It's gore time. After an exhausting day in class, I came home and found nobody there. I didn't give it much thought. My parents told me days ago that they were going to visit my grandparents. They live 200 miles from here, so my parents will probably stay there the whole weekend. The only thing I had for dinner was frozen lasagna. I don't like it very much, and now I'm stuck at home, and some bad things happen, I guess. Okay. It's a point-and-click horror game. It's so loud. Oh my, this game is, like, ear-piercingly loud. Okay, here we go. Well, now what? The water heater, I can set it to whatever temp I want. Okay. I'm changing the water heater, I guess. Go in here? In here. Uh, okay. This is a bucket with a mop and a little dirty water. There are still some wet clothes inside the washing machine. I was supposed to hang them up. I have no idea. I'm sorry. I have no idea. I think it, I'm supposed to, like, change the temperature to something, but beyond that, I don't know. I don't get it. I'm sorry. I don't know. Silver Falls. All right, let's try this one. We got another, uh, horde slash detective game. If it's another point and click, I'm gonna get confused and not know what to do. Oh, wow, this is like classic Resident Evil or like Silent Hill. There's some dead chickens? Are those chickens? Yeah, they're chickens. Whoa! Oh my god, the nub is so fast. Holy crap, it's fast. Okay. I can shoot a gun. I... I'm out of ammo now. Alright, we're switching to, uh, we're switching to the knife. It is very hard to control this camera. Holy crap. I can't see shit. Seriously, it is so dark. I mean, I get it's trying to be suspenseful, but I genuinely cannot see anything. I mean, Jesus, it's so dark. I don't know what's happening. I have found nothing. I'm moving on. Hey, Vera swings. Okay. Purple screen. Now what? Hello? Video game? <laughs> All right, it's here. Vera Swings. Let's do it. This literally looks like an Atari Jaguar game. 
<laughs> Whoops. Oh. Oh my god! Okay, that's gonna take a while to get used to. Oh! Wait, how do I- how do I catch after that? Okay, hold on. Hold on. I was not expecting that. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh, but I can- okay, I can move the, my thing in the air though. Okay. Okay, so I can at least move my purple stick. Okay, this is actually kind of sick. Yes, we made it. No, I don't want to do that again. Ah. This is difficult. It's it's a cool idea. It's just really hard to control. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I got to get this now? Oh, come on. Okay, this game is... It's, it's fun, but I am not good at it. And there's still a lot to try. Hello. Sketchy snowboarding. I doubt it's sketchy at all. It's going to be super legit authentic. I'm excited. Wow. Here we go. Oh, sketchy as in, like, sketches. Past five blue gates in one run. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, this is ski run. This is free ski. Free ski from, like, the 90s, except... Okay, this actually looks kind of sick. Oh, I have to actually hit them? I'm dead. I hit a jackalope. Rip. Honestly, I love this. I love this snowboarder. He looks so cool. Woo! Look at that. We did it! I guess... Did we, did we just keep going? All right. Oh, there's ramps! This is literally ski-free, and I honestly love that. Yeah! Woo! There's a dragon! Why is there a dragon? <laughs> RTO 3. I have the first other RTO games, but I'm just going the, gonna go in the order of my my folder. So we're, we're playing the third one first. You wake up and find yourself hanging from a wall after being taken captive. Yeah, I hate when that happens. The lunar base, where you're stationed as part of the security forces, has been overrun by an attacking reptilian enemy. Wow. When the game starts, the lower screen will look similar to above. Okay. Ah, it's Doom. Okay. Move between rooms using doors. Got it. Why is there no music? <laughs> Just no music. I found everything but room five. Okay, I gotta find that room. Repairing. I'm Okay, I'm repairing. Repairing. I don't know what I'm repairing. I guess I'm repairing room five's door. Okay. Now what? I can go through here? What? Okay. You know what? Maybe RTO 1 and 2 are better, but I'm done with this one. Ooh, Phasmophobia. Now, this is not the same Phasmophobia as far as I'm aware. I've never actually played that game. I know that it's not gonna be, that's not gonna actually run on this the same. So I guess we'll see what the 3DS version is like. Oh, snap. Kicking it. Oh, Pac-Man? Oh, okay. This is actually kind of crazy looking. So what happens when you die? Okay. That was terrifying. Um, let's try that again. Alright, this is literally just 3D Pac-Man. Okay, I can do that. It is literally 3D Pac-Man! <laughs> oh my god, that's... Ah! Oh, this is hilarious. I actually, This is actually really cool. Well, I need to be finding pages. I don't even know where the hell pages are. I'm not even looking at the top screen. I have to look at the bottom. Oh, but it's like I can't because I... Uh-oh. Oh, they're mad. It's okay. We got this. We're good, fam. We're good. You know what? This might be the best digital game so far. No! Damn it. No, this is actually super fun. I'm going to stop for now, but you know what? Honestly, pretty fun. Now I want to play, like, the original Phasmophobia to see, like, we know what the differences are. That was cool. So what's this game? Oh, great. One of these again. What? What the hell's happening? Summoning salt music? What is happening? Love Nuzam credits? Okay. I'm ready. If the game doesn't say f***, I'm out. It's... Undertale Galaga? Oh, <laughs> what? Oh, damn. Oh, oh my... You spawn instantly. Holy crap. Aw, oh, and I am dead. Oh, and I died at 69 score. Or time, I guess? Nice. What do we got next? IFO. Ooh, Game & Watch game. Ooh. Ooh, I like how this looks. Okay, this is actually really freaking cool. 
absolutely love the art style. They even made the screen a little, like, blurry and cracked up, just like, you know, any Game & Watch game would be after years. This is really, really cool. I like this a lot. It's a fun little arcade game. Well, that's basically the game. I guess you just kind of play until you're out of lives. Penguin Hop. Okay, hop once, hop twice. Got it. This is cute. I like this. I like- I love the little penguin. Okay, this is fun. This reminds me of, um, there's a Kirby 64 minigame that's a lot like this. It's called, like, Checkerboard Hop or something. Zeus Quest. Oh, wait. Anagenesis? Anagenesis of Gaia. This has to be fantastic. I mean, the title alone. Uh-oh. Okay, sorry, I don't care. I'm sure it's serious, but I just want to try the video game. Oh, it's a point and click. Oh, Zeus. What are you doing, Zeus? It's a girl sunbathing. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. What about this guy? What do you think of him? It's a guy sitting on the beach. That's apparently bad, because you didn't say not bad. Okay. It's a really cool mirror. <laughs> it is a cool mirror. You must re they must really love themselves. You brought a mirror to the beach. Yep. They sure did. This ought to be good. Up, up, bot. Tap screen to jump. Tap and hold to increase jump height. Okay. Time for another mobile game. Let's do it. And that was that. I died. The end. Oh, boy. Oh, this game is impossible. Now, this. Games for Toddlers 2. Look at that. That graphic design right there really is... It speaks volumes. I mean, wow. Look at the f***ing monster jamming out in the top left corner. What is that thing? What the hell is going on here? Okay. Oh, oh, I just tap. Okay, I can play the xylophone. Alright, that was one of the games. What's this game? Eggs. <laughs> I play music with the eggs? What's this cat one? Do I pet the cat? Wow, it's Nintendogs. I just tap the thing and then the thing happens on the screen. Why is the screen so small? All right, we're almost done trying all the games. This is the last one. We're we're building stuff, all right. Can I move it? Oh, sick, I can. I can make like a tower. Oh god. Stay right there, triangle. No, no, my tower. All right, let's chase some tornadoes. I'm ready. Okay, st st hold on. Stream the best storm footage possible and build up your stream followers. I'm sorry, what? I'm live streaming this? Okay, and why is the game taking so long to load? There's a hidden two-way portal, north and south. Okay, let's start the game. Here we go. I'm trying to... Oh, R, R, okay. Alright, let's find a tornado, and then I guess we're streaming it. Can I go off course? Yep. Hold on, what is this 1x? Can I increase the speed? Tornado warning! Okay, get the camera out. Oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna get sucked up! Oh no. Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna stream right now. Alright, I'm going live, baby. I'm getting some really good footage right here. Am I just dead? Dorothy? Vehicle reset. Oh, okay. Let's stream again. Okay, here we go. We gotta get a better view, so let's climb up here. This game is obnoxiously loud, by the way. I can barely hear myself talk. It is so loud. There it is! The tornado! We found it! It's... it's gone. Well, that was a fun stream. We did it. Cycle of Eternity, Space Anomaly. I hope we just travel through planets and it's a click and point game again. For a comfortable game, please use a stylus. Okay, I want to have a comfortable experience. I'm going to use my stylus. Somewhere in the solar system, 2431 year. That year's coming up, isn't it? In the next 400 years. This thing is picking up speed. We're gonna skip, I don't care. Oh! Okay, this is a uh, RPG, apparently. Okay, this game's kind of boring to me. Now we've got raining coins. Trampoline. I, ha I cannot watch this. Can I skip? You've got a helpline. Align the piggy- okay. The piggy bank? Wow, it's literally raining coins. This game is not exaggerating at all. Not much else. 
I'm literally just grabbing coins. A, B, C, that's it. There's no more letters in the, uh, the alphabet. Hello, select a letter. I will, I'm gonna select X. X, that's right. I, I don't know what that means, but I selected it. X, what the hell, I, I draw it? Uh. Okay, I made the X. That's the game, I just learned how to... I learned how to write? Okay, I think I get it. Brick through. Slide brick left and right using the touch screen. Be careful to avoid oncoming bricks to score points. Okay, that, that went by fast. So avoid... Oh wow, that's kind of hard. Hold on. Let's do better than that. Yeah, the touch screen is not very responsive. I feel like that's a bit of a problem. It, like, lags. I don't know why it lags. There we go. Okay, now I'm getting used to it. Okay, that was a video game. 3D Retro Dungeon Challenge, featuring sounds going from one earbud to the other to make it extra stereo. Skunk Software. Skunk... Oh my god, Skunk Software. Loading the entire game. Well, thank god they're loading all of it. If they were only loading half of it, it would be... Probably unplayable. An introduction to the basic movement controls. I like how this text is so squished that I can barely read it. Going? Oh, that's so weird that I don't just use the whole joystick. So this is like Wolfenstein without a gun. You just kind of... It's like... I guess it's more like a dungeon crawler than anything. Whoa. ba da bum ba da bum You know, I don't know why. I actually kind of like... Ow. I kind of like this game. There's something about it that's kind of charming. Hello. Alter world. Huh. Hello, doggo. And that is me. I'm playing as this person who throws stick for doggo. Very cool. Can I play the game soon? I don't... What is the point of watching this? What the hell? What is this? Chronicles of Narnia? That was a very long intro. Switch worlds? Whoa. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, that's... You know what? That's actually really neat. This reminds me of uh, Runbo, who we played that earlier in this video. Oh no, <laughs> I'm dead. You know what, this game's honestly pretty neat. I wonder if it's out on other platforms. It's gotta be, right? Uh, okay. Clever. Okay, you know what, this game's got some good ideas. Ooh, okay. We do that, and then that, that, okay, I like that. I like stuff like that. That's very fun. All right, yeah, I honestly, I could play this for a while. I'll stop for now, though. It's a good, that, this is a really good one. This is going to be wonderful. Operation Cobra. Since it's your first time playing, try reading the e-manual. No, I'm a gamer. I don't read. Please pick a map. Desert City. Look at that city. We got to go with city. I'm ready. I am ready to rock. Look at him. Oh. Oh, dear God. Oh, my Lord. This might be the worst running 3DS game I've ever played. Holy crap. Oh! I... I can't see what's happening. I can't move my camera. Oh, my God. This is so bad. Jesus, this game needs to be optimized. Look at this frame rate. This is like three frames a second. I, I, I can't. I have to stop. That is actually like the worst running game I may have ever played. Holy crap. That was horrible. That, I mean, I feel like a game like that could actually run on this console. It's just not optimized at all. Zigzag go. Tap the screen to change direction, avoiding oncoming shapes. Okay, rotating cubes will not harm you. Okay, this is fun. You know what? I like this. This is also a nice basic one. Basically, just avoid the shapes. This is a fun one. Oh, oh God. Oh, that gets hard. Okay, you know what? This is another fun one where, you know, it'd be fun to pop in like every 10 minutes. Maybe you're, you're taking a crap or something. You got nothing to do. This would be a good game to play while you're doing that. So RTO3 wasn't so great. Maybe RTO2 will be better. <laughs> Okay, the location of the two data terminals, the locked door, and the mission objective room will be marked on your app. 
or on your map, data terminals will be marked in yellow while the lock and mission objective room will be marked in red. I still don't exactly understand what I'm supposed to do here. It's literally the same. Now there's there's some guy in the front of the screen, and I don't see the map. Okay. Okay, we got him. The title screen is a little bit too zoomed in. It looks like it's saying Yizical Kanta Ictur Plaque. Something you might have wanted to check it beforehand. Also, this game is obnoxiously loud. Holy crap. Oh, this is like Bejeweled? I think this is Bejeweled. Dude, I don't get it. I don't, I don't get, what do you want from me? I'm pushing every button on the screen. I genuinely, what the hell is going on? I don't get it, I'm so confused. I'm tapping every button on the screen and nothing is happening. Ooh, block drop chaos. Gonna be chaotic. Oh my god, I just cracked like 80 bones. Collect the shape that corresponds with that presented on the background. Okay, slide the paddle up to right to catch the correct shape. The Why are the shapes so tiny? I can barely see what they are. The circles and squares look the same. Okay, actually, no, the colors are different. There's orange and red. But wow, it's so similar. Neat. And now, the first RTO. We're gonna try to find one reptile and then move on. Start new game. There's a survival mode? Screw it, let's do that. Expert. <laughs> Alright, we're in. Let's do it. Ooh, much faster. I actually like that a lot. Okay, going in a door again. I gotta repair this real quick. You know what? This is boring. I'm sorry. I'm moving on. Okay, let's do some archery at night during Christmas. Ought to be super festive. Classic mode, arcade mode. Arcade mode, let's do it. How do I move the camera? Da, 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 da. I am so confused, what is happening? Hold on, I aim like this. I drag the camera and the arrow automatically shoots. That's very strange, that is very weird. Why is the controls like this? Song's catchy. Or maybe I've just been in the Christmas mood. I'm ready for Christmas. All right, new high score. Well, we're back to this again, except the game is speed. Now, I have played the card game speed before. If it's the same thing, I'll actually be able to play this. However, the controls just were not working before. Okay, this is literally just speed. Thank you. The computer is so slow. Pick your six. It's so slow. Pick your seven. Come on. Oh my god, it's painfully slow. This is the world's slowest speed computer. Yes. Alright, I just won. Yay. Touch controls. Tap screen to fire the blaster. Okay, I'm ready to fire. Okay. So, literally just keep tapping the screen over and over again, and I win. Not broken in the slightest. Oh, it's more Halloween, or it's it's more archery, but this time Halloween. You know what? I'm getting kind of used to these controls, as weird as they are. It's not completely off. It's just weird. It's just very, it's like the most unnatural feeling archery. But at the same time, I feel like I can kind of get the hang of it. Well, I say that as I miss like four shots in a row. Wow. That was archery again. Now this is going to be great. Frutakia 2? Going to be fantastic. Easy and hard. It's slots. What does it matter? This looks, it's literally slots. Oh, I'm trying to get like the most points. Po okay. You know what? Now I get it. Okay, you know, this is actually kind of neat. I only have so many turns. Okay. This will be another fun, like, phone game. 2,000 points. Lucky continue? No. Let's guide that ghost. Okay, control and more touch controls. All right. This music is absolutely jamming. But at the same time, this game is ridiculously hard. 
Holy crap, this song is good. Oh, damn it. Okay, this is fun. You know what? I like this. Swipe, huh? Let me guess. Gonna need my tiny little itty bitty stylus for this one. Oh, the game started. Okay, I, I, I fell asleep. Start. All right, I'm ready to go. I'm tapping. Okay. Get the cubes, avoid the black dots. That's the game, it looks like. All right. I, I like stuff like this. Seriously, I'm such a sucker for, like, minimalistic kind of games. Game over? I'm not touching it. Infinite table tennis? Well, thank God. Infinite fun. Oh. Oh, God. Okay. Bouncing them back up. Can I change the speed? Oh, the speed changes automatically. God damn it. My simpleton brain loves this as well. This actually reminds me of a, uh, a Neopets game of all things. I don't know. I doubt many of you have played Neopets, but there was this ice cream game where you had to like stack ice cream. And this reminds me of that so much. It's a this is actually ridiculously smooth controls. Holy crap. Oh, this is fun. This is fun. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. And you know, what? I, I gotta do that again. That was actually pretty fun. Okay, we're, we're cooking. We're cooking, baby. Come on. 100 points. Yes. No. Yeah, we're almost there. Come on. Get, get, oh, 88. I am playing that when I'm done recording this. That's fun. Ah, more physical contact games. But the speed was good. I like the speed one. 2048, I have no idea how that works. Oh, 2048. Yeah, yeah. So there is a uh, web game. Okay, this is literally just 2048. Got it. Just trying to get 2048 points, basically. Song slamming. Okay, I like the song a lot. How many points is that? Not enough. 36 Fragments of Midnight. This looks like another point and click game. Man, I've played, I just came to the realization, I have played so many freaking video games this year. Ranked all the Sonic games, ranked all the Yoshi games, all the Kirby games, and now I'm playing all of these. I've played like so many freaking video games this year. Jesus. Zero out of 36 Star Fragments. Okay. Those yellow gems, those look familiar. Where have I seen that before? I also like how this is just the, the geometry dash uh, cube. So yeah, I guess you just collect the stuff. Hold on, is this auto-generated? I think the levels are different every time. Ah. Yeah, this looks totally different. Okay, cool. Stack them high. Wow. Okay, versus mode, mission mode. I guess versus. Versus, okay, what do we do? Compute, no, compete one-on-one -on -one against the front. What do I do? Oh, drop toys onto a platform. Just Okay, yeah, stack them high. Got it. This is a lot of rules. I'm not reading all that. Okay. Oh, I have to, like, point. So, what? You know what? I actually don't get it. So, I think this cursor is, like, where the trains fall. I have no idea. I honestly can't tell. This is very convoluted. I don't know what's going on here. Super Destronaut 3D. Is it another space shooter? Classic mode. I would love to shoot some rocks and stuff. Wow. Space shooter. I called it. Oh my god, holy crap. Okay. God damn it. That extra shake effect makes me like this a lot. And the music's really good. The music reminds me of, um, of Drew's game, Carl, that came out recently. You know what? This is actually kind of fun. I can't lie. It's kind of fun. Scooping birds. Am I scooping bird crap or the, the birds themselves? Okay, I think I'm gonna like it. I don't know how I like it. Alice Scooper. That's what we're going with. We're going with puns today. Okay, touch a customer to start their order. That that feels wrong, but sure. Oh. Okay, I get it. That's super goofy. There you go. Enjoy your bird. Oh, oh, it has to be like the same kind of bird. Oh my god. That's actually hilarious. So this reminds me of like Diner Dash in a weird way. Unwanted birds by sliding your scoop back and forth. Why is this like a decent game? 
Oh, what the hell is that? Oh god, go away. Why is there bombs in your shop? Alice Scooper, I don't trust you anymore. I'm leaving. I'm- I've had enough. Alice Scooper. Alice Scooper, I'm not gonna get over that. Don't crash. It's a good plan. Use the control pad left and right to steer, collect coins. Okay. <laughs> the f***ing sound bite! It was supposed to be dun 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 brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Trying to hold your breath too long is dangerous. I agree. You know, this is a surprisingly interesting game. This is another one that, you know, I might play for longer than two minutes. I'll, you know, unlike most of these. This one's not that bad. Da -da -da -da. Color cubes. Okay, tap screen to switch. Ah, it's one of these games. I have like three seconds to respond. Ah. Okay, trying to throw me off here. Well, that's a game. I've said that about a lot of these, but like, honestly, so many of these games are just video games. Like, I don't have much. To, there's just not much to say. I was swapping cubes in the colors. That was it. Life speed. Join the resistance. I would love to. Let's take down the United Government. Oh, it's a racing game. Oh, sick. Dude, this is like um, Star Wars Episode One Racer on N64. Oh, that's really neat. Damn you. Guys say, damn you. Oh, damn. Can I? Oh, okay, I can do some barrel rolling. This is fun. This really, again, looks like a DS game. <laughs> I don't know why it's on new Nintendo 3DS. Well, we've officially gotten through my very first folder of new Nintendo 3DS games, which is freaking nuts. This was a lot of games, but that is not all. There is one more folder. Which only has, only has an extra 10. This game actually, we'll play it last. This game came out in October. <laughs> October of this year. But anyway, let's try Brick Race. Another racing game. Okay. So just avoid the cars. Going 10 speed here. Rip. Box up, baby. Oh, it's one of these again. Okay. Oh, I, I've literally already played this game. This game already... Did they, like, re-release it? But now the colors are different? This is the exact same game. There's no difference. They're now blue and green. That's the colors. Wow. Pirate Pop Plus. You know, I like the art of the pirate. Maybe this is a sign of something good to come? Oh, 13 a.m. They made, um... They made Runbow. Okay, this actually ought to be pretty decent, then. This music sounds exactly like a WarioWare game. I mean exactly like a WarioWare game. I can't believe how much this sounds like Wario Land. I mean, this had to have been an inspira like an inspiration, right? I think I'm done popping bubbles. That was enough popping. Galaxy Blaster. Didn't we already play? We played Galaxy Blaster Code Red. Is this the same thing? It is the exact same game. The only thing they have changed is that it's colorful now. So the Binding of Isaac Rebirth, this is probably like the only good digital new Nintendo 3DS game. Now, I've never actually played the Binding of Isaac, and I'm not going to play for very long, but, you know, this is actually a, a pretty darn good game. And it's pretty cool they got it on the 3DS. Okay. Bombs. Items. All right. Wow, it's another game I have to get on Steam. Ooh, toaster. Oh, I'm sorry, a box of spiders. Oh god, not the bees! Not the bees! Ow. Man, Isaac is very sad. Look at all these teardrops. Oh, I can hit the poop. Great. So, I think from what I've heard, I think the levels are... Um, they auto-generate. So it's like every time you play, it's, it's different, which is... That's honestly pretty awesome. For a game like this, that makes a lot of sense. I guess I'm just going around punching stuff. Get the flies... I don't know if there's any other big objective, but this is a lot of, this is actually really fun. I'm going to have to get this on Steam, like for sure. Yeah, this, this is a good game. You know, it runs really, really well. This is a good one. Tap screen to shoot ball. Okay, I will. Wow, game over. That's the game. This is basically Super Hexagon, but not fun. Why, this is Steve, Minecraft, but Mario. So I guess I just like sh shoot stuff? I don't really know. Yeah, this looks like another phone game. Also, kind of looks like Super Paper Mario. Oh, thank God, we got some meat. You know, this is this game's not bad. The jump feels very awkward, though. It's like laggy and springy. I don't know. I don't like it. Well, that was a platformer, and I did shoot stuff. I'm r I'm really running at a loss of words. So many of these games are so similar. But there's only three left. We've got Cup Critters next. The guy's saying yeah at the bottom. Must be great. Cup Critters. Okay. 
Uh, use left to right on the control pad to manipulate gravity. Oh, I get it. Wow, that's really difficult. Holy crap. That is really hard. Oh my god. Only kept one that time. Now it's time for Hit Ninja. Okay. This text is almost impossible to read. But I'm ready to hit some ninjas. I'm tapping the screen. I'm pushing start. I'm gonna quit. What do I do? Swipe? I have to, oh, I have to swipe! Okay. That is very hard to aim. Holy crap. Wow, that's really difficult. Oh my god, that's so hard to aim. And now on to our last game, Cosby Ball. Again, this one came out um, in October. So was it worth dropping this game? I saw one, one review on it, which was five stars. Okay, Cosby Ball 3D. Please, let's end on a bang. Let's end on a bang. Come on. I like the music. I actually really like the art style. All right, and that was the first level. Any questions? Whoa, 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 okay, hold on. Pink is bad. Hold on. Didn't know that. This, you know what? I like this song so much that I want to end this video with this music. There you have it. This was every new Nintendo 3DS game, all 104 of them. Hope you found at least two things to buy now before the eShop closes at the end of next year or the beginning of 2023. Okay, bye.